Okay, what we have here is a 6WA Lucas windshield wiper motor. This is typical as those used on some early Ferraris, Maseratis, and what have you. I uh, don't really know what this particular one fits, but uh, when it came to us, uh, it probably had the original grease in it from 1962. And uh, of course, the most expensive part of these repairs is when the armature is burned or the field coils are burned because they're getting more and more difficult to find and the rewinders for these make them quite expensive. But fortunately, it was the armature was in good shape and so was the field windings. But inside this, there was coag oops, coagulated grease from ancient age and all of these gears in here were frozen. This gear right here, I mean, you couldn't even recognize it. It looks like it was covered in wax. This particular gear right here on its shaft was actually frozen. In order to get that gear out, we disassembled everything. We, I, I actually had to drive the gear out from the back side where its pinion axis shaft is swedged into the die cast housing because there's no way you would ever pull that gear off. And then once I got it out, I isolated the plastic from the gear itself and heated it, not too hot because we didn't want it to separate from the gear, just hot enough to make a, a penetrating oil bubble. And then by moving it on the main shaft a tiny, then more, and then more, then more, finally we got it off. And right now it spins on there like a top. So we're real happy with that. No broken teeth in the gears, all still in good shape. So, uh, uh, and then of course, the uh, main uh, uh, spherical bearing in the top, uh, we put new uh, uh, wick in it so that it is constant, they're oil light bearings. So now it's constantly oil both on the top and the bottom bearings in it. And uh, of course, we turn the armature and all the standard electric motor repair systems, reinsulate and what have you. So now it's totally lubricated, freed, and you know the amount of grease you put on these things, it only has to be a little bit. I don't know why they pack them with grease. We have a modern synthetic grease on both the gears. Matt, you want to show them this thing working? Yeah, when I turn it on, it's going to be on high speed here. Okay, this is our power supply, and we can actually get a, uh, a voltage and a uh, amperage draw on it. Okay, what's so that's high speed. And then when I connect the other wire, it's gonna go down to low speed. Yeah, actually the extra wire on here is a winding around the field that decreases uh, the uh, power to the, uh, uh, to the magnetism of the coil and therefore slows it down. But interesting, on slow, it draws more amperage than on fast. Okay, go ahead and switch it. You see one about uh, about two and a half amps free running on uh, fast, and go ahead and do slow again, and then on slow it jumps up an amp. But that's typical of these motors. As a matter of fact, this one is running just absolutely great. So a lot of work, but uh, uh, there you go. And we'll send along with it the schematic that shows how these two wires, hook, uh, three wires, hook up for power, slow and fast. Thank you for your attention.